so today that we are going to see about in this architecture the architecture uh, name of this architecture is tms 320 c5x digital signal processor this is a one type of architecture the another type is 54x that is a second type of architecture the c is going to be mentioned for an cmos technology which is made up of this architecture uh, already we have been discussed about this and then this tms 320 cx 5x which is going to be in a fifth generation of a digital signal processor which have been uh, developed by that uh, textas instrument usa and uh, this tms 320 cx uh, digital signal processor is a 16 bit fixed point processor and it is going to be fabricated based upon this cmos technologies and this processor is going to be have an advanced hardware architecture so this is a one type of an a normal hardware architecture an advanced hardware architecture which is presented in this processor and this processor is going to be used to execute an uh, every instruction within a 50 million instruction per second so mips that is going to be called as a million instruction per second so the instructions will be execute 50 million instruction per seconds the instruction is going to be an execute and the second we are going to see about a feature of tms 320 c5x so in this feature this is a 16 bit cpu which is considered and it has an 20 to 50 nanosecond signal cycle instruction will be executed here programs and here they are going to be consider of a 16 bit external program memory and data memory and io address spaces also is there that is input and output address space as also is going to be considered then the future is going to be considered of an uh, they are going to be used that a phase locked loop and for an programmable timer then it is a standard ieee form which is going to be considered and this processor is going to be used in two types of voltage that is one 5 voltage and a 3 voltage this 5 voltage is going to be used for an low power applications and the 3 voltage is going to be used for an power down modes so even though that the power is going to be low uh, very less power which is going to be get we can operate it with this 3 volt and the medium power that is a low power dissipation means they can operate it in the 5 volt also so two types of voltage operation also is available in this features of this tms processor the pin diagram of an tms uh, 320 c5x which is going to be shown here so the pin diagrams on this processor also is available in the market in the two types of formation one is quad flat package and the another one is thin quad flat package and the pin which is going to be consists of 100 pin which is going to be considered here normally they use an 100 pins of tms 320c 5x family processor they will be used you can see here that the pin diagram of an uh, 3 TMS 320 C5X processor which has an 100 pin so 1 to 25 uh, will be there here 26 to 50 again 51 to 75 then 76 to 100 so totally 100 pin of this uh, uh, pin diagram this is going to be shown here and the functional grouping of your pin diagram which is shown here so it is consisted of uh, addressing mode and uh, input port and output port everything is going to be group here this 100 pin which have been grouped together this is and uh, now we are entering into that architecture so, so this is a very important so according to your syllabus so this is an uh, simplified architecture of an uh, tms 320 c5x processor it is a very simplified architecture so in this processor uh, which is going to be mainly classified here is an cpu so that is uh, this part which is going to be called as an a cpu this cpu which is going to be consider of an auxiliary register memory mapped register and a program controller so very very important things of this and then it is also is going to be consider of an accumulators and a parallel logic units that is plu okay alu and plu everything is going to be under the process of cpu and the memory registers so these are the memory part so rom ram everything will be used here that is that memory part and the serial port part which is presented in this right hand side corner so this is going to be generally called as an peripheral serial port parts which have been shown here so this diagram is an simplified architecture of an tms 320 c5x processor 
so now we are going to be see about an uh, general expression of this processes so this tms 325x processor is going to be have an advanced version of hardware architecture what is that advanced version of hardware architecture means it has both uh, separate uh, memory bus and uh, uh, data bus line which is going to be considered here that is shown here presented here the program bus has a separate line to transmit data and address so this is the special one of an tms 320 c5x processor when compared to hardware architecture so similarly the data bus also which has an a separate lines to transmit the data and to receive the data and this architecture which is going to be used for a uh, main application purpose is going to be used to an uh, industrial purpose and uh, here this architecture which is going to be classified into an uh, three parts um, cpu memory and peripheral so that uh, last itself we have been discuss in that architecture a center part which is an cpu and the top most part which have been shown that a memory part and the right most part which have been told that peripheral so these are the three major parts which have been uh, presented in that architectures so now we are going to see about this cpus memory and peripheral functions here the functional unit of an cpu which is going to be an parallel logic unit will be presented and uh, central logic units some memory map register auxiliary register and program controller so these are the separate devices which will be presented in the part of cpu so these are the some parts will be presented in that cpu itself and then this processor also has the following on chip memory process so in this on chip memory what they are having means program room and then dual access ram and single access ram also which have been presented according to that kilobit range so so 9 kilowatts up to that 9 kilowatts we can use to that for a single ram access then <clears throat> we discuss about here is uh, the on chip memory which has an uh, internal peripheral so for these are the following things which is going to be exist in this on chip memory what are the things that they are going to be used here means to generate a clock generator hardware timer parallel input and output ports serial port and a buffer serial port and the maskable interrupter so these are the things which have been available in this on chip internal peripheral itself the next we are going to be see here is uh, the total memory address space which is going to be considered of in a 224 kilowatts which are can be used for an 16 bit processor and then this address space which is going to be divided here into your four spaces that is uh, 64 kilo program memory address and the data memory address and the 32k data memory address and the 64 kilobyte of your input and output port address space so these are the four uh, address space which have been classified here so up to this we have been discuss about the general parts of an uh, tms 320 c5x processor so now we are going to be see about a functional unit of tms 5x processor so the functional unit which is going to be considered here the first part here is plu so now we are going to be see about a separate each and every parts that is a plu means parallel logic units this parallel logic unit is an additional logic units that permits is going to be an operates without affecting an accumulator okay so it's a very important without affecting an accumulator the each and every instruction sets will be get carry here and it performs the boolean operations and it can also use to set clear test or toggle the bits using that stated register control register and in any memory location we can also use it for this kind of operation sets also so plu can be used for this kind of instruction sets the next instruction sets which is going to be see here is central arithmetic logical unit calu central arithmetic logic unit so here in this calu consists of a uh, 32 bit alu arithmetic logic unit and 32 bit accumulator buffer and 16 bit multiplier 32 bit program registers 
and uh, 16 bit left barrel shift and right barrel shift also which is applicable in this central arithmetic logic unit and this clu also is going to be used for a general purpose arithmetic and logical unit functions so that is uh, it can perform the arithmetic and logical operations and alu operates involving two operands so that is one of the operand is stored in the accumulator and the other operand can be performed data memory or internal registers so this is a very uh, special function of an alu operations then after operation have been completed the result which is going to be stored in that accumulator after carrying that operation and the result everything the result which is going to be stored in that accumulators the third functions which is going to be seen here is memory map register in this memory map register the tms t25x has 96 number of 16 bit memory map register which consists of 96 numbers of 16 bit memory map registers so this memory map register includes and various controls and status register of cpu serial port timer and software generations so these are the things which have been presented in that memory map register so also they include 16 memory mapped input and output ports so io ports also they are also going to be include here so this is an uh, memory map uh, register which have been shown here with a memory address so from 0 to up to 79 which have been shown here so these are the things which have been each and every instruction there is an uh, memory map address which have been shown here the next in this function unit we are going to be see about an auxiliary register arithmetic unit ar au which is going to be called as an ar au auxiliary register arithmetic unit in this auxiliary register arithmetic unit it has an 8 16 bit auxiliary register that is from ar0 to ar7 8 16 bit auxiliary register which is considered here this 16 bit arithmetic units also is going to be used to calculate the indirect address this is a very important of an indirect address can be able to be calculated here and this auxiliary register can also be used as general purpose register for holding the operand of arithmetic and logical operation to hold the arithmetic and logical operation also we can able to use this auxiliary register the last which are going to be see here is a program controller in this program controller the program controller is going to be contains an logical circuits that decodes the instructions manage the cpu and stores the status of your uh, cpu operations and decode the conditional operations also will be carried here so due to the parallelism in the architecture a three concurrent operations have been presented in that machine cycles it's a very important points of that uh, program controller and they can also be fetch an instructions and read an operand and write an operand for these type of operations also they can be used for this program controller and this program controller consists of a 16 bit program counter <coughs> which has an uh, status register of st0 to and uh, processor mode status register is going to be considered as pmsts so this program controller after finishing this the status register we are seeing here that is st0 to st1 okay so the tms processor have two 16 bit status register which is considered here so from st0 to st1 so the pointer for an indirect address and various bits of interrupt controller and the hold mode and the product shift mode everything is going to be inserted here and the very important points which is here is the format status register and the function status register which have been shown here so this is a status register for zero you can see here this is the status register for the zero operation so how many register which is have here from 0 to 15 which is going to be considered here from 0 to 15 the status register is going to be divided into the several parts that is from 15 to 13 register they are going to be called as an arp what is that arp arp means auxiliary register pointer so this 
register which is going to be used to select that auxiliary register for indirect address and then from this 12th register which is going to be called as ov what is that ov overflow flag bit so it indicates an overflow in arithmetic operation and the 11th register which is going to be used for an ovm so that is overflow mode bit and then 10th one which is going to be always it will be displayed as an one and the ninth register is intm what is that intm input mode bit and from 8 to 0 okay from 8 to 0 register which is going to be called as a dp the dp means data memory page pointer that is the data pointer in simplest we called as data pointer so next register we are going to be see here is status register 1 for this status register 1 also we are considered from 0 to 15 total uh, set of register will be there from here 15 to 13 we are using arb what is that arb arb is that auxiliary register buffer which holds the previous values in that auxiliary register buffer status and then cnf cnf is going to be considered as a configuration of control bit and tc which is going to be considered for an test and control flag bit is going to be stored in here and sxm is going to be called as an sign extension mode and c which is going to be represent here is carry bit and 8 to 7 always it is going to be displayed as number one and the sixth one is going to be an hm this hm is going to be called as an hold mode and similarly from xf register is going to be called as an status of external flag and the pm is generally called as an product shift mode so these are the instructions which will be available in that uh, status register of one so in this status register which is going to be stored into in two data memories and loaded from the data memory so so from this they can able to be stored or load the data memories therefore the allowing processor status to be saved in that restore of the subroutines processors so these are the status register which are going to be presented in that uh, processor so so far that today that we have been learned about an uh, overview of an uh, tms 320 c5x processor and the future of that processor architecture of tms 320 c5x processor and functional mode of tms 320 5x processor so then uh, architecture and the functional mode may be asked separately in 88 mark question or otherwise they will be asked and 13 mark question a combination of 13 more question they will be asked okay